Jeremiah Davis is a writer. I write about just personal stuff, just about life and just everything that's going on. A diary of sorts. I I'll often go back and, and read what I was thinking at that time and, and just uh, take some of my, my own advice. Writes all the time, anywhere it hits him, even at 30,000 feet. It's really simple, just a, a pen and a pad and you can, you can be lost in your own little world. A world forever including basketball, yet oddly bereft of it lately. Getting back on the court is going to be uh, really exciting, but uh, for the time being, I really like to write and even when things start to speed up even more, I still like to make time to write. The thing that Jeremiah, you know, he's had so many, he's had, he's had a lot of adversity in his life so far, you know, in the aspect of, of how he's played out his career. And he could be somebody that could be very bitter about, about what's happened to him. Instead, he told me the day after surgery, he goes, this is all an opportunity. It's an opportunity for him to get stronger in the weight room, upper body wise. It's an opportunity to watch the game a little bit and then maybe kind of see some things that I can improve on when I start coming back. He's looked at everything as an opportunity, not as a negative. And I think the kids that, that really try to do that in these types of tough situations um, really have a, a tremendous outcome. I gotta go two and then we out. Today, Jeremiah Davis is confined to the pool. Jumping jacks and just uh, swimming, just uh, stuff for cardio conditioning. And then a different type of pool. This is the mindset that for me to come back. I got hurt about seven weeks ago uh, in practice. Uh, no, I wasn't. I didn't know that I was hurt right away. Um, you know, I I, uh, I checked it out. I thought everything was fine. And uh, later on that day, I was like, oh, something's not right. Davis broke his foot that day. A teammate landing on him, coming down with a rebound. He's unable to plant his foot down and push off. Basically, um, it's called a Jones fracture. And it cost Davis the first half of his season, which means for one reason or another. The guard played all of 73 minutes of college basketball in the last two and a half years. It's his fourth year of college basketball, and, uh, and he's had one season that was moderately unscathed in his freshman year. When he helped Cincinnati to the Sweet 16. And yet... You just got to stay positive. Uh, keep uh, having faith in yourself and keep believing. That's all. It comes through patience, uh, you know, just having patience and just having uh, peace and joy, that's all. Which is partially where the writing comes in, as much therapeutic as anything else. I, don't, I just don't count the weeks. I just, you know, I, I do what I got to do, and, uh, you know, everything will take care of itself. A regimen that also includes countless hours in the pool, the athletic training room, and eventually the court. Now this is the Alter G. It's an anti-gravity treadmill. What exactly does that mean? Well. Basically, you put these specialty shorts on, which allow you to zip into this bubble that then inflates around you. That allows you to take as much as 75% of your body weight away while you walk or do exercises or run. Davis spent a lot of time in here, which was huge because he could do those exercises and stay in shape and get into shape while his bone still actually healed. When a guy is out, you know, if he can't condition during that time, when he comes back, it's another few weeks before he can even get his base back. And it's, I mean, it doubles the length of the time of recovery. With the foot injury, he can start getting his gait back and he can start building his cardio back and start doing the things that he's gonna have to do long before he'll be cleared to do it with full body weight. Mix in some old fashioned rehab. Towel pools and things like that. Just small things that eventually strengthen my, my foot up. Then drinking a lot of milk and taking a lot of vitamins as well too. We'll use a swimming pool, we'll use um, bike, we'll use weightlifting in a circuit type format to keep his conditioning up and keep his lifting up. And you've got Davis back shooting in early December, doing other basketball related movements while everybody else was away over Christmas break. We even caught his first dunks. I, I feel fine. I feel great. Nah, I'm not antsy at all. I know, I know what I can do, you know. Um, I know what I can do. Which the cards got to see firsthand for the first time, January 3rd against Bethune Cookman, when Davis finally took the floor healthy in Cardinal and White. 17 minutes, three rebounds, two points, two steals. Just more fodder for his pad and pencil.
Joel Godet, BallStateSports.com.